to my market kitchen and today... We're going to take you through the famous winter night market. I can't wait to get in there. It smells so it delicious. It does, doesn't it? We're going to show you some of our favourite stalls to eat and we're also going to cook a couple of things inspired by tonight's menu. Let's go. What is going on here? Like, looks like I'm oh. out in the Nordic somewhere. Tell That's me about exactly it. Right. That's exactly That's the idea. Really? So it is Nordic. It's a Nordic uh, style really? of salmon. So oh. Instead of having a pit like that, they usually dig a pit into the ground. All oh, right, so a big pit in the ground with fire and coal. Mm. Can't wait to try it. That looks incredible. That is delicious. So the cedar planks, is it? Yeah, cedar planks. So you impart that beautiful flavour. Exactly. Mm. Well, well, thank fancy. you so much. No worries. Pleasure. Have a go, Thank you, you too. After visiting the salmon stall with our smoking it over the lovely coal, I've decided to grill some beautiful fresh garfish, oh, make a little fennel salad and a butter sauce. What oh. more could you ask for when it comes to Very grilled fish? Very fancy. I'm <laughs> impressed. These look beautiful, Lyndon. I can't wait to eat they them. They are. They're such a great ingredient to use. Got these from the seafood and oyster spot in the Queen Amazing. Victoria market. As you can see, these are so little. They're so delicate. Like, they are absolutely... These are like a fisherman's treat, garfish. They are so attractive. They're they are. Look at the beautiful. silver. They're it's just so shiny. Lovely. So, to start, finally chop some garlic and shallots. Shallots? Yep. Great. Perfect. I think we're going to cut the shallot today. I often don't cut shallots for anyone, but today I'm going to do it for you. So with this, really take your time with making this butter sauce. Yeah. So low heat, little saucepan. Yeah. I'll just get some olive oil in it. While this is happening, I'm also going to start preheating my griddle pan yep. for my garfish. A little bit of oil, don't need much because I'm going to smother it in, in butter in a minute. A little heat when you are cutting up onions or shallots. Leave on the little nubby rooty end because that acts as a little handle and your shallot won't go crazy all over the place. Straight in. Can you do the... I'll do the garlic. You do the garlic. I'll do the do garlic. Do you want me to stir it? And now it's just showing off. Fine, Emma, it's fine. <laughs> it's good. I just want to get this cooked. <laughs> Before the market closes. <laughs> they go until 10 o'clock. So we got all night. I'm going to cook this down for about 10 minutes until it's nice and tender, but no colour. We'll be right back. So our shallots and garlic are nice and tender, a little bit translucent, yeah. so it's ready to add the rest of the ingredients. No colour at all. No colour. Just really translucent, soft and melty. Soft yeah. and melty. And even more soft and melty with the addition of some butter. Why do you think French sauces especially are so with delicious? Butter and shallots. Butter straight in. Pinch of salt. Quite a lot of butter. Do you want to make sure that griddle pan's on? On the griddle pan now, it's a really quick process now that shallots are tender. Fresh tarragon straight in. Oh, I love tarragon. And tarragon is a biannual herb. Really? So it lasts for two years. Great gardening tip for anyone wanting to plant tarragon at home. There's a good herb to have at home because it does grow quite happily in a pot. Now, with these garfish, simply just season them all on the little plate. They are so beautiful. They're gorgeous. They're one of the most beautiful fish I've ever cooked, What's actually. What's bone structure like? Very fine. All right, they look fantastic. Right. See that? It's just melted, it's not split. We're going to sit that to the side and let it infuse while we cook the garfish. Beautiful. On the way in tonight, I wanted some finger limes, so I picked these from Emma's garden. Yeah. They're uh, beautiful. You can grow finger limes in Victoria. You've had to get nice Give it a go. grafted ones, and they're beautiful. They're great little trees. Now, boil up your griddle pan, super hot, lots of oil, lots of salt. Don't be afraid of it. Right. It's going to render down. Look at that. Beautiful. Now it's our turn to smoke up the night market. Yeah. This is going to take minutes to cook. And this is going to get served with some beautiful shavings of fennel. Beautiful. To preserve some fronds. I love fennel. This so freshens much. up any dish. Mm. And fennel and seafood, a great combination. Mm. How's our garfish? Look, Happy? Look. Mm -hmm. You want to give them a turn? Oh, yeah. They look fantastic, Lincoln. Righto, MZ. Yeah. Butter. Butter. Let's use these beautiful finger oh, lines. I'm so excited. These finger lines, I planned the tree two years ago. She can tell a story. And this is the first crop. They are beautiful. So finger lines oh. are also known as citrus caviar. Yes. And I did have one of these earlier. They have got a real punchy bite to them. And they, and they you squeeze them, all the little citrus the little... pearls pop out. They're really beautiful. 
beautiful. They are, and that's the beautiful thing about these. These are a brilliant native Australian fruit. You can see the little pearls here as they come out. They're gorgeous, aren't they? I love them. That's going to add a real zingy pop when you I, eat them. I love the colour of these. There we go. Now it's showtime. Could you get the garfish onto the plate for me, sure. please, Emma? Just, Just on. attractively. Beautiful. Getting the last guy on. Beautiful. I'm going to give it a good drizzling of this butter sauce. Don't be afraid to really ladle it on. My goodness. That looks so good. So get simple. Fresh fennel. So easy. Do you want to get some olive oil, please? Some yes. salt, pepper, a drizzle of olive oil. I don't need a trademark. Yeah, perfect. Beautiful. Some pepper. Get Season everything. Some, some of these beautiful finger lines. Look at that. Look at the little pearls pop out. Love it. Oh, they grew in my front yard. I'm happy with that. I'm glad you've enjoyed this, Emma. You've made my cooking experience very pleasurable. Thanks, Lincoln. My, my grilled garfish with fresh fennel fronds and a finger lime butter sauce.